Haha, ha, right? You guys saw the title where I said I'm unboxing the MacBook Air? Clearly that was a lie. This is the Asus ZenBook 13.3 inch Ultra... I, no, I'm just kidding. I actually am unboxing the MacBook Air, but before you hit the dislike button, it's for a very good reason. It's so that I can compare it against the Asus ZenBook. So, the MacBook Air, yes, it's been out for a little while. This is the second generation product. Let's have a look at the overall spec of the machine that I have here in the lab today. This is, uh, you know what? It's not gonna be quite a fair comparison between the MacBook Air and the Asus ZenBook because in terms of the overall spec, the MacBook Air is actually not quite up to snuff. It is a Core i5 versus a Core i7 processor on the ZenBook. It has, they both have 256 gig SSDs. Um, they are both similar in terms of the size, in terms of the form factor, the amount of RAM, but the MacBook Air has Thunderbolt, which the ZenBook does not. And what was the other thing that was sort of missing that I felt was not quite as good about the MacBook Air? Yeah, I think that was pretty much it. So basically, um, yeah, it's got only a Core i5 instead of a Core i7. And yeah, has a built-in FaceTime camera, which I think what they mean to say is webcam. And then software called FaceTime preloaded on the machine. But, you know, I'm just, just nitpicking, right? Um, okay, so hello. Inside the MacBook Air, we find um, typical Apple documentation. Very simple, very slick, very beautiful. They're so good at this. Congratulations, you and your MacBook Air were made for each other. I really hope I wasn't made for a MacBook Air because I think that's really, you know, um, selling myself short a little bit here. Uh, you can click anywhere, you can pinch to zoom, you can rotate images, you can scroll up or down, switch between full screen apps using three fingers, and you mission control using three fingers up. So, yes, you have a multi-touch touchpad with gestures and all kinds of good stuff like that. Excellent. So here's ready, set, up, go, and life with your MacBook Air, and problem meets solution. Neat. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just put that aside for now. What else we got here? We got your Apple one year limited warranty. Um, that's another thing that's not gonna be quite as good about the MacBook Air is the warranty is not as long of a period compared to the Asus notebook. All right, I believe the battery is 90 days, but go ahead and correct me if I'm wrong on this one here, guys. It's a one year on the product itself and then 90 days on the battery. I really wish I could find it. This is taking so long. Yes. No. Yes. I think so. Okay, whatever. All right, what else we got here? Um, this is another thing Apple is so good at, and that is creating power bricks that don't suck. Um, although I'm a little bit confused by this. Oh, cool. Okay, so you can either... See, I, I really don't know Apple products that well, so I apologize here, guys. But check this out. You can do this one of two ways. So you can plug the wall wart directly into the wall, which would be not ugly, very elegant, very nice. And then you plug in your little magnetic connector to your MacBook Air, which is also very elegant, very beautiful. Or you can go ahead, you pop this baby out, throw this in here, and you can plug it into the wall. You have a nice long cord now, more reminiscent of a, of a PC style cord. But we're gonna go with the more, the more elegant solution since that's clearly what today is all about because we are doing a MacBook Air unboxing. So, part of the unboxing process is the removal of the plastic. So let's go ahead and unpeel this bad boy. So here we see Apple's trademark gorgeous aluminum finish. And really not enough can be said about it. If you've seen an Apple, you pretty much know what I'm talking about. So you've got that beautiful anodized aluminum. Aluminum, remember, is lighter than most metals, but still retains the necessary strength for use as a building material in consumer electronics. Magnesium is another option. Um, in fact, that's been done in the past. I think Toshiba did it. Maybe it was Panasonic. One of them's done it with a, with a thin and light style notebook, but the problem with magnesium is it's highly flammable. So aluminum does not have that particular drawback. Here we have a little piece of paper protecting the 13.3 inch screen. And uh, you know what, let's do, let's do overall form factor a little bit. Things that Apple does right. Well, everyone loves the chiclet keyboard. Personally, I don't, but everyone else seems to love the chiclet keyboards. I like a little bit more tactile feedback, but 
I am not the mass market. They do their layout right though. So their delete key is wide, their shift is wide, their return is wide, their other shift is wide, their tab is wide, everything is wide. They have properly laid out arrow keys and the overall keyboard feel and spacing is excellent. That is why people buy these machines. Another thing Apple has figured out that no one else seems to be able to is huge touch pads that are somewhat proportional to the size of the screen in terms of their shape. So we've got a nice wide screen, large size multi-touch touchpad that is going to make your user experience better. We've also got our web, I mean, oh, sorry, Facebook, uh, FaceTime, FaceTime camera up here. And uh, let's go ahead and check out the overall thinness. Oh yeah, oh, this is gonna be even better than usual. I'm gonna do my iPhone thickness comparison. So there is my thickness comparison on the uh, top, so that is the screen. And then here's my iPhone thickness comparison to the bottom of the MacBook Air, just like that. And then we're gonna take the whole thing and do the thickness comparison just like so. So the whole thing is very, very thin. The form factor is outstanding, as you guys are probably already aware, since I am not the first person on YouTube to check one of these out. Here we have an SD card reader, we've got a USB slot, and we've also got a, I believe that's a Thunderbolt port. Moving along to the back, we've got a nice black slick looking hinge. We've got some rubber, well, more like plastic, plastic feet here. They're gonna keep you the, uh, the rounded bottom from scraping along the table. We've got our power connector, a USB 2 port, a headphone port, and that is pretty much it. Not a whole lot to this thing, is there? Very easy to open up the cover though, due to the uh, the shape of the lip right here. So you can just pick it up just like that. And let's uh, go ahead and turn it on if I can figure out how to do it. Sweet! I love how they still make that noise. All right, so actually one more thing I wanted to go through really quick is the spec comparison between the MacBook Air I have and the ZenBook I have. So the ZenBook is $150 cheaper and instead of a 1.7 gigahertz dual core Core i5 processor, uh, this one has a, wow, if I can find it, uh, 2677M i7, I don't even know what frequency that is. Um, yeah, I got nothing here, guys. So it has a 256 gig SSD. It has a wireless LAN, Bluetooth. This guy has a four gigs of RAM, 256 gig SSD, 13.3 inch LED backlit, 1440 by 900 display. They both have integrated HD graphics, built-in webcams. I'm assuming this one has a webcam too. English for the main language. Check Press that out. The return key. Okay, headphone port, Thunderbolt port, wireless N and Bluetooth 4.0. Yeah, they both have Bluetooth, backlit keyboard, and ambient light sensor, pre-installed Mac, OS X, and iLife, and size and weight is here. Cool, okay, so that was pretty much my unboxing of the MacBook Air. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos, especially if you wanna stay tuned for my ZenBook coverage coming soon. Okay, so we have the specs now. The Core i7 is actually just 100 megahertz faster, so that's a 1.8 gigahertz regular speed and a 2.9 gigahertz turbo. And actually one more thing, the weight, so the Asus is 1.3 kilograms and the MacBook Air is 1.35 kilograms. So the Asus um, Ultrabook is actually lighter as well as its other advantages.